Have you ever wondered why fighter jets, as advanced and powerful as they are, can't survive at the edge of space? It's a fascinating topic and today, I'm going to break it down for you. First off, let's talk about what we mean by the edge of space. The boundary we're referring to is the Kármán line, which sits about 62 miles or 100 kilometers above sea level. This is where Earth's atmosphere starts to thin out and space begins. Sounds like a thrilling frontier for fighter jets, right? Well, it's not that simple. One major issue is air density. Fighter jets rely on air to generate lift. The wings are designed to slice through the thick layers of the atmosphere, creating the lift needed to keep the aircraft in the sky. But as you climb higher, the air gets thinner. By the time you reach the edge of space, there's virtually no air left. Without this crucial element, a jet's wings can't generate lift, and the jet essentially becomes a very expensive, very fast brick. Then there's the problem of jet engines. These engines need oxygen to burn fuel and create thrust. Down here near the Earth's surface there's plenty of oxygen. But at the edge of space, oxygen levels plummet. Jet engines start to fail because there's not enough oxygen to sustain combustion. So even if the wings could generate lift, the engines wouldn't be able to keep the jet moving. But wait, there's more. The control systems of fighter jets are also a big challenge. These jets rely on control surfaces like rudders, ailerons, and elevators to maneuver. But guess what? These control surfaces work by manipulating airflow, and with almost no air at the edge of space, they become pretty much useless. Imagine trying to steer a car with no tires, bah, it's not going to end well. Now you might be thinking, what about rockets? They go to space, don't they? Absolutely, but rockets are fundamentally different. They carry their own oxidizers to burn fuel so they don't rely on atmospheric oxygen. Plus, they use reaction control systems instead of aerodynamic surfaces to steer. That's why rockets can thrive where fighter jets can't. In summary, the edge of space is an extreme environment that fighter jets aren't designed to handle. From the lack of air density and oxygen to the failure of control systems, the challenges are simply too great. So, while fighter jets are marvels of engineering, they're built for our atmosphere, not the vast void above it. I hope this video sheds some light on why fighter jets can't conquer the final frontier. If you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of aviation. Thanks for watching.